So yeah, I've, I have been lucky enough to do uh, lots of comedies. Lots of, I love doing comedies. I love it. it when, when I went to drama school, that was, you know, it was, I guess, I love the idea of being able to make people laugh. Um, and I've had that, a great chance to do that on, on a stage like the Playhouse that we've got here. And just, and there's so many fun comedies out there. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I've, I've had a wonderful opportunity over the last however many years to really explore more dramatic roles and to, to challenge myself, but also to go, what, it, what does it take? What are the differences between performing a comedy and performing a drama? And I think ultimately there's no difference. It's about respecting, I think it's about respecting the audience and giving them access. Because as human beings, we experience all sorts of emotions all the time. Um, and, and we can make people laugh. And sometimes, you know, you just come out with a zinger and it's like, oh, that's wonderful. But we've also got the, you know, the capability to make people empathize. And when we know what, it's, there's such complexity to being a human. And I think you need to bring that, that entire complexity to every character you do, regardless of the, the genre. And, and then you have to offer that to the audience. So, so a few years ago I played, uh, uh, we did a play called um, The Importance of Being Earnest, which is just an incredible, incredible piece of writing. So if you ever get a chance to read it or see it, just go for it. It's so well written. And the character I played, Algernon Moncrief, he's a very sharp, very intelligent um, man. And he's very manipulative and such a joy to play. But I, what I had to make sure I did though was, was give the audience access to his quick wit and his sharpness so they're never challenged by it. They're actually on that ride. So if, he is, if he's playing, a, um, or if he's playing a, a status game over someone or if he's manipulating someone, for me I thought I don't want the audience to feel like I'm playing with them and I'm manipulating them. I want them to come with me and, and join in that manipulation and that playing because that way you're not separating the audience saying we're too clever or this piece of writing is too clever. You go come with me and, and you know revel in the cleverness of it but do it with me. So playing a dramatic role I think is exactly the same of going regardless of, regardless of your status, regardless of, of it being you know, an enjoyable uh, emotion or a challenging tough one, I think the key is to always remember your audience and invite them through that experience, through your character. So with Martin, he's He's re-looking sometimes with fond memories, sometimes with very difficult memories of his childhood. And I want the audience to, to join Martin with that so they feel like he's, they're in safe hands with him. And, um, and there's no secrets, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a safe place to be for the audience with whatever character you're with. He may have secrets, but he's not holding a secret from the audience. What he's saying is, there's more here, so sit and wait. But certainly, I, and, and this I think with any role, is it's never going I'm against you. Whether you're a villain, whether you're a hero, whether you're a bit part, it doesn't matter. It's never I'm against you or I know more than you. It's going, just, just experience this through me for a little bit. And I may have all the answers and you don't have them yet, but I want you to trust that there is more here and that will, you know, that will come out potentially. So I think, Across the board for me, it's just respecting whatever story you're telling. Respect that audience and just let them access it regardless through, through the actor.